just another Big 12 game. Uh, uh, first, I um, want to thank uh, uh, the fans that showed up tonight and just what a home court advantage uh, the Foster Pavilion gives us. Uh, won't, won't guarantee we win every game, but uh, uh, sure makes a big difference with 6th, 7th, and 8th man. Um, and then uh, each and every night, different people uh, step up, and uh, God's given them all talents and abilities. But the big thing, as long as they keep uh, playing for each other, and some nights when it's their night, um, uh, great, and when it's not their night, cheering on their team teammates. Because at the end of the day, uh, in Big 12 play, it's all about matchups, like in the NBA. And some guys match up better on certain nights, and it's not going to be the same all the time. And uh, uh, a good team's got to win when you don't shoot well. A good team's got to win well when you don't do this or that right. But five turnovers will win you a lot of games in the Big 12. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-h
turning on the fans. It was our fans. So. <laughs> guys catch that or not? <laughs> All right. Coach. It's shoot around. We heard the fans. We're like, hey, if it ever gets quiet, turn them fans on. <laughs> Coach, BYU is a, a team that shoots a lot of threes. Only um, four three-point attempts from their senders combines tonight. What were you all doing to try to limit them? Well, I think uh, um, Coach Pope's blessed to have three three guys that are all bring something different to the table. And um, uh, 45 got it going for a while there. And, and he doesn't shoot threes as much, but he was a he was a force down low and did a great job distributing. And, and four is a shot blocker. And then uh, uh, Big Fella is an, a great passer, but, but obviously nails, knocks down threes, so stretches the four. So it, it's a hard prep because you got to prepare for three different, it's kind of like three different quarterbacks. Hey, Coach, uh, after the game, did, uh, did Caleb have anything to say, like in the locker room or maybe some other teammates uh, say anything about well, that? Well, Caleb's so class. I mean, he, he he's just one of those guys that everyone that met him at BYU, I know, enjoys him, and everyone met him and, and knows him at Baylor enjoys him. I mean, um, uh, he was happy with the win, but uh, he was also happy to see uh, uh, some familiar faces. And um, I know he's always cheering for BYU and wishing them the best because that's who he is. Hey, Coach, when, you know, some of those calls don't go your way, it's part of the sport of basketball. What do you kind of tell your guys about keep your cool, there's a lot of game left, hmm. we have one job to do, and stick with that? Yeah, I tell them don't watch me. No. <laughs> uh, uh, try to control what you can control. And I, I, obviously uh, 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 I think our guys do a good job adjusting throughout the game, and they do a good job listening. Um Sometimes our game plans aren't perfect. We make adjustments, and they aren't perfect. But normally uh, uh, players that listen have a chance to uh, – you see what officials are calling, what, what, what's working, and you, know, you, you adjust to that. And that's, that's a strength of, uh, of our team rather than getting frustrated or, or, or getting taken out of their game. Jalen, you uh, had it going tonight. I mean, uh, were, were you just – Feeling it? I mean, were you trying to be more aggressive, or was it just kind of what the defense was giving? Um, I'll say a little bit of all that, but you know, when you got guards like him, guards like Ray J, that can just find me when I'm open. You know, make life easy for me. And then also, I would say they had a they had a bigger guy on me, so I just tried to exploit that a little bit. Jane, talk about the response of this team. I mean, you guys were down by nine early in the second half, and you guys got on a roll and kind of went back and forth. But just what, talk about this team and how it's responded. Um, I feel like we, sp we responded very good, you know, facing adversity. And I feel like we just, you know, knew that we knew the outcome. We knew we were just beating ourselves. We made self, mi self mistakes. And then, you know, once we covered them, I feel like that's when we started taking the lead. And, you know, it really just started with defense. You know, defense created our offense for us for sure. And Jalen, Coach Drew said you were a fan of the atmosphere tonight. Can you tell me what the atmosphere was like for you and how that helped you guys out as a team tonight? I mean, it's it's a blessing to have a brand new arena, brand new facility. And the fans brought it tonight. They brought the energy. Like when we went on our runs, it was like we couldn't even hear each other out there. We we this close, we can't Facts, even hear each other. Yeah. So Facts. it's it's great to have home court advantage, especially in this league. Yeah. Jaden, back here. Uh, kind of talking about the impact that the guards made tonight. What did you see out of Langston and, and the impact that he made when he came on? I feel like Langston, just a great guy, you know, a great guard in general, just bringing that spark off the bench that we need, you know, on the court defense and offense, you know, just hitting open shots, getting to the basket. Langston, just a great, great guy off the bench for us, for sure. He very, very complete game he has, for sure. Jaden, uh, only five turnovers for you guys as a team, and obviously coming off a game in Oklahoma State where you had a low number as well. Mm -hmm. Has that just been you getting more comfortable with each other? Has it been something you've concentrated on? I feel like it's just, you know, getting more comfortable. I feel like uh, like preseason, you know, we got all the jitters out. We played tough teams, you know, during scrimmages and everything. And, you know, Coach Drew always emphasized on keeping, like, 11 or less turnovers. So I feel like we just, you know, take emphasis on that. And we've been doing a great job at taking care of the ball, you know, this far this season for sure. 
Jalen, they beat y'all on a lot of backdoor cuts in the first half. What did y'all do to adjust to that? Because it seemed like they didn't get as many of those opportunities in the second half. I mean, you know, it, it's kind of tough with a team like them that can shoot the ball the way they can, you know, because your, your natural instinct is to want to deny them coming off screen so they don't get an open shot. So you overplay it, boom, they backdoor you. Um, we just kind of try to stay under, and we went to a defense where we're not – where we switched a little bit more. So. Mm -hmm. Kind of took them out of what they wanted to do. Yeah. Jay, it was a tough night for Eve, uh, at least on the stat sheet. Um, what kind of stuff do you say to to a young guy like that coming off of a game like this? Um, you know, just based on being like a basketball, you know, a human being in general, you're not perfect. So just look forward to the next game. You know, we have a lot of basketball ahead of us. You know, everybody, every basketball player has games like this, you know, where they just can't seem to get it going. But it's life and it's basketball. So it's all a part of the process and it's all a part of the journey for sure. Jalen, uh, Langston hit some big shots for you guys again, uh, as he's kind of done all season. How gratifying is it to see that from him, given all that he's been through? I mean, it's just amazing. Um, we talked in our chapel today about perseverance, and I feel like Langston, there's nobody who embodies that more than Langston Love. Um, everything that he's gone through, you know, even this offseason, he had an injury with, to his pec. Yeah. It's just it was like he couldn't catch a break, and just to see him out there doing his thing, making shots, making big plays for us, it's it's amazing. And Jaden, shots haven't been falling for you that much recently, and it was the case for everyone really on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, how does how does that going into a game like this? How do you guys change your mentality offensively, or is it just keep playing at it? It just stay confident, you know. That's what uh, me and my guys always talk about. Even the coaches always tell me stay confident, you know. Just keep shooting the ball and just keep trying to make the right play. So I feel like we just stay confident throughout this whole season, no matter what the outcome is, you know, because it's life. You know, you're gonna miss shots, you're gonna make shots. So everything happened for a reason. So we just move forward to the next game for sure. Jalen, what's the adjustment period for coming into the Foster? Y'all haven't been here very much. How's it feel to shoot? Are you used to kind of how everything looks and feels? Um, I would say at this point we're kind of used to it, but against Cornell we definitely weren't. Just compared, like, the verticality of here compared to the um, the Farrell Center, it's like two completely different venues. So I would say we're, we've been in here a lot now, so I think we're a lot more used to it. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you.